with uh, just two stuns. The Weaver can chase another tower as well, so you have to be very careful. Especially with this lane ward already down by my VGR. They'll set up Magic Missile into the arrow. ENT coming in nice and close, getting the punches in. And Sam H, there's going to be no escape for this boy. He's got one fairy fire. He's going to try and make them take as long as possible for this one as he dupes out in the sideline, but they'll chase him down and get the first blood for end on the Weaver. VGR with the star that they wanted, and indeed, that top tri lane, a little bit too potent for a bat to live through. A little bit strange that he decided to show himself so early and he skilled Sticky instead of Firefly. I mean, I, I get that, you know, you want to be able to have some kind of ability to trade in lane, but maybe he feels like staying up here is the choice to make sure that he gets a 1v1 matchup in mid so his tinker is not under pressure from the Venge arrow, but he's going to get hit again. Sam H in a lot of trouble indeed VGR they'll say they'll take a second I feel like we've only just seen this one minute and 20 seconds in that he was originally used silencer when you saw like Fat Rider Centaur and Bouncer combinations, but it's a little bit of change. Hey, you. This is kind of his favorite spot. We found him here early. He's going to come back again. No, no. Heading across. Oh. Trying to help out, but Cuckoo, he's got an arcane rune. And he's going to land. get a second bit of burst down. Get TNC's first kill on the board. No, no. Continues to chase AU down. He's got backup in the form of Ends Weaver. Coming in close as well. Cuckoo, just trying to buy some space for the escape of AU, and it's going to be enough. GR is the Tinker. Obviously, TNC have been putting a lot of pressure on the Storm mid, and certainly fell at the moment. DDC coming with a very interesting wraparound. Walks into Demon, AU as well. The Storm is going to be totally off point. DDC just playing games with TNC at the moment, but they'll continue to chase him down. It, it looks like he's going to make them spend a lot of the time going for this Venge kill. Oh, it's, could, he, could he deny himself? No, the burst from Demon is too much, and Silencer will be able to punish the Venge. Picking up a second kill now for TNC. Denied. That's a bit of space created. Having that Venge walking around the woods, having three heroes to kill, it would be very, very good for them. Got to be very, very careful. But at the same time, as you said, with the uh, ultimate from Jimmy coming back or cool now, which should be fairly short, TNC will have a potential to fight. Have a no knock jumps in. Pull on to Cuckoo, the burst in there. The global comes out, but he doesn't do anything off the back of this. He managed to get the save off, but Nono still goes down. He's one. DDC trying to get himself away. Sam H tries to chase, but they don't have detection. So it'll be the straight one for one. No, no, throws his life in and uh, is able to take Cuckoo down with him. I think it's probably worth it trading the Tinker for the K with the, the current uh, situation. Right. Looking for end, but it's a hard catch. Sentry's going to be dropped down. And already getting himself out with the silence there. AU's gonna connect the storm blaster, but DDC swarm not quite enough. DDC may himself be in trouble if they close in flame break to cancel the TP. And TNC, they'll take both of them down. Important to remember that last word also is very good. Then you smart move with each other. Realize at this stage, you know, both teams have kind of been going around each other. They'll look to Roshan. With the Desolator event, they're going to do it fairly quickly. TNC will start to make a move over, and it looks like they will get there in time to contest. Ooh, the ult's up and available, but no, no. Jumps in, looks to initiate onto AU. FY just four, but the global from Jimmy is going to slow down VGR's start. Here comes the ult on the other time. It's not only really going to catch no, no. They've lost AU on the other time. McCasa as well, able to finish off Cuckoo. The VGR, despite the global from Jimmy, they fight through it, find themselves two kills and head immediately back into the pit. TNC just left with three standing and unable to contest this play from VGR. The Tinker was usually Dyer's doesn't die that much, tower. which is a really good thing on Storm. More about just consistency. <laughs> the Lasso jumps in immediately. They've got a global as well if they need it, but it looks like it's damage from Ravens enough to bring him down once. The question is, can they kill him again? Still holding up the global silence. Demon gets it off. Mikasa, can he get himself out? Kills himself to does manage to get the Bloodstone denied. You can see already TNC looking for more. Chasing down Nono, gets the blink off, end on the back lines, trying to pick off AU on the Elder Titan. We'll chase him down with the Shikuchi. TNC trying to make their way over to help him. AU looking for the Dukes, the Storm, it's there. AU gets himself out, and now end in a whole world of trouble. They don't have detection. He's going to come out Shikuchi. The silence is there, but he's already out. And Nono and FY, they're tagged in. Gets the call up onto Sam H. Ravens trying to help with the dog for Nono. Finishes him off. Ravens looking for the cleanup. He'll get the kill onto Axe. Can they give him does anything more TNC to chase him down, but VGR back off. Maybe even thinking about coming back in as Mikasa has already respawned and is straight down to the bottom lane. You can see on the way, five minutes in, 244 CS. He's only died the once. They're absolutely looking very, very stacked at the moment. And as we saw in that last fight, you know, VGR, they've got a fair few mobile heroes that can get away, but the damage once they get close is a lot. Two good corner. Cash on DDC, <laughs> down the Tinker, down for 50 seconds. 
just throw Sam H up into the air and get themselves out. Panther style and a global silence to protect you is is no joke. Like global, I'm not sure it's Oh, absolutely. Sam A setting up onto the Mikasa. The swap's there from DDC. The global comes out from Jimmy. They'll look for DDC. They will manage to cancel the TP with the flame break. This is simply Avenge giving his life for the coach. And as coach says, good job, son. Mikasa gets himself back to base. And it's not like he's getting out farmed by anyone. He's 50% more net worth than the highest person of each area now, which is the Weaver. Don't think he's feeling particularly scared. GR are really trying to avoid confrontation with him because they realize how farmed he is and the only way they're killing him is if they just get everything dumped on him at the same time and there's no global. Oh, meanwhile, I mean, no, no. He's just found himself a freebie on Jimmy. It's like he was out alone and uh, Mikasa, joining forces with the Axe, was able to take down a silencer. He was suddenly back in return for GR. Top lane, the arrow from FY connects and the death zone. A fair bit of damage with the Star Storm as well. BGR find themselves a quick second. Day. So TNC getting a, a, a bit lapsed there with their, their concentration and losing to the top lane. The VGR. They just like snap Marana ulted when they saw that TB illusion. They are, they are absolutely terrified. But it looks like they're going to build up the courage to try and take a fight with TNC. Heading Sentries everywhere. Top. Dyer's top tower is under attack. EGR being incredibly timid. They need someone to make the call. Dyer's someone to jump in. And initiate the fight, but as we can see, Reginald's how hard it could be. Sam H, he gets the jump first. Global comes out from Jimmy. Let's see what TNC can finish off. And he gets the back. He gets the time that's off. And now, fighting back Raven. Going in tonight with the blade battles off. They've it's already lost the back. They've lost Jimmy as well. Two down on TNC. And no, no, still standing strong. Raven trying to get the damage out. Looks towards DDC. Takes down the bench. And what? He's gonna pull the ball! Gets the glove down on the Raven! Ripping the side of CG on the trend they need to kill this TB! No man! But he's just killing them! Mikasa kills himself! Raven at this point and Goku with the drive by rocket to the backside! BGR getting team wiped! And Terraplane absolutely out of control. Raven 611, nearly hitting 20,000 net worth at 31 minutes in. He did so much damage during that. There's no. Uh, oh, actually, it's going to be up in 10 seconds, so there is global. Yeah, TNC could certainly try and fight this if they're aware that's going on. BGR, they're going to be able to do it a little bit quicker than they were before, but with the. Uh, this is kind of all in, 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 right? Yeah, TNC knows what up, and BGR, they're not going to have the chance to finish this one without a fight as TNC. Closing around, Sam H has the last available, jumps in, grabs Mikasa, brings him back into Raven. Storm Spirit falling low, will be able to use himself up. No, no, BKB gets the call up for Raven with the Sunder, stays alive, takes down No, no, it's another kill for the Terra Blade as VGR. They're sent packing for the time being, Cuckoo will come across, but FY leaps away. BGR just unable to fight this Terra Blade at this stage of the game. Can they go for any kind of big play here at the moment? They've got a swap, they've got an arrow. There's the swap. DDC's coming. Mikasa as well. They're trying to cause havoc. It's not going to work though. DDC back on the cliff. Mikasa can use a big play. They got the kill. But Sam grabbed the Aegis. BGR take down Roshan, but they still get the Aegis. Sam H jumping forward. Mikasa go on the man. It goes for 1v1. Pops the Aegis. No Bloodstone deny available, still on cooldown, and mccassey has got to run, he's got to hide, he can't do it, Cuckoo, with the final laser to the face as VGR once again getting taken down big time. It is looking real grim for VGR after that, actually dead, but the problem is, he's never really getting those kills fast enough in the global plus taunt and the bat rider. Oh, and Sam H, he may have had a rocky start to this game. But his initiations have been absolutely perfect. And he is, you know, absolutely recovered for the fact that, that he gave away three very early kills. I think a lot of those kills were better off being him than his mid player. Because obviously it put Cuckoo in a really good position to not have to worry about other heroes worth taking until later. The mid here on the castle. That's right. Something to slow this down. 40 seconds still without end on the Weaver. Fortification comes out, but TNC. In this best of one, they can smell victory and moving forward. Look at this illusion spread, Owen. This is just, this is disgusting. Is this the Raven just has ripping has the base, the hopes and dreams of BGR to shred. This is going to be a second set of racks down. On the back though, BGR trying to fight for the global. Oh, Jimmy shuts BGR the hell up. A Raven moving in with the BKB, looking for the axe. Still, Cuckoo jumps in as well. The swap for DDC will save the axe, but he'll pay with his life. Mikasa still playing around on the back line. No. with Sam H. He's gonna have to kill himself.
And Cuckoo, oh, home is oh. Get the kill, he'll deny himself. Oh. FY down oh. again. 60 oh. seconds on the oh. sideline oh. for Marana. There's a buyback from Mikasa. TNC only losing one there. Mikasa, he's got to do a big play, but that's on the play, Savage! Says yes, tip straight into my last no son. Three down on BGR, only end the no, no left. And no, 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 he's down. BGR lose more. Jimmy and the boys have done it. TNC move forward. Take it out, BGR in the first round of the lower bracket. Oh, they've got to feel so good about that, Andy. These best of ones are an absolute nightmare, but TNC have done it against all odds. Big props to Jimmy there. I love the draft that game. I thought that the Silencer was a stroke of brilliance against the Storm Spirit, the Weaver. It was just so hard for VGR to really find openings at a certain point. I mean, sure, they had a good start.